Welcome, video diary number 10. <laughs> um, how good was Big Band Night? I loved it, man. That was so awesome. Um, it was so cool, especially to meet all the guys in the band, because I've been, um, you know, I've been sort of around town, you know, before Idol, and, and I'd be going, go, going to see, you know, some big band gigs, and all those dudes would be, well, I mean, they're the, they're the best guys in the country, really. And um, and yeah, I remember just going to going along to gigs and seeing them just play, you know. So it was so awesome to sort of get in there and and say hi, and they all came out for beers afterwards. Awesome boys, and um, yeah, yeah. So it was really awesome, big band night. Um, not only just so I could sing and 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 do what I love to do, but also um, um, yeah, meet all those awesome cats. So that was really fun. And um, yeah, it was such a it was a weird night, like because um, there was a lot of expectation for for the other three to not really do well. Which is weird because I knew that that wasn't the case at all. I knew that Matt would do really well. I knew that Natalie would do really well. Um, and I thought that Marty's would just be different and a little bit fun. And that's exactly the way it happened. Like I knew that like everyone would do really well. And and that was sort of hard for me, I think, because people were like, "Oh man, you're going to do so awesome. You're going to stick out a mile." And and uh, but but that wasn't the case at all. And I sort of knew that. Um, and it, and it, and 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 it was good for the show because it was a great night and everyone sung really well and it was cool. Um, but I loved doing Just Kiss Me. That was just so awesome. That was like I remember when I first heard the band do it. Um, uh, when the when the band first sort of played the arrangement, like as soon as they came in, I just I was like laughing. I couldn't even start the song because it was just sounded so good. And um, the lead trumpet player, Paul Paniki, is just an absolute mother. Like, just so good. Like, best in the country. And, um, yeah, it was just so... It was just awesome, man. It was like... It was like, that's... You know, besides winning, that's where I really wanted to get to. And um, I was so, I'm just so happy and lucky and just so thankful for you guys for, for helping me get there. And um, Now it's On To Win, On To Win, and um, the number one single... You know, this year is is awesome. You know, we're, we've been mucking around with it, and uh, and I really like it. So I'm so really looking forward to, or hoping that I, I get the chance to sing that to you guys. Um, yeah, I think you really like it. So um, I love it. So um, it's cool. We've been working with it a little bit, trying to change it up, and and um, and make it make it a little bit more me. You know, than the sort of original, but but not too much because it's it is really hip. It's a cool line. So. Yeah, uh, but but going back uh, to what I was talking about, Big Bear Night was absolutely awesome, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it too, and um, and I, I hope that you enjoyed sort of everyone else's performance too. Like uh, it was really good. Um, I really enjoyed it, and um, and even Marty's like were good. Like I, I really thought like my fire was awesome, and the arrangement was really cool. It had that sort of 007 Golden Eye sort of a sound to it, you know. Um, rocky sort of big band it was cool it was awesome night so um yeah thanks for tuning in if you saw it it was cool being in the bottom two on monday night was um it's weird it's weird i don't know like i sort of almost expected to leave not when i was in the bottom two but like that all that whole day on monday i'm thinking oh geez you know there's a a good chance I could leave because people always leave on their genre nights. I don't know why. Maybe because they don't meet up to people's expectations, or um, or maybe people become a bit complacent with voting because they think, oh well, he'll be right because it was awesome or that's his thing and he did it really well. I don't know. But um, yeah, I just thought maybe it, it could very well happen that I leave that night. Um, but I'm, I, I'm, you know, obviously I'm very happy with the outcome. Being in the bottom two doesn't bother me too much. Like, I remember it did back when uh, it was me and Jacob in the bottom two. That was a bit scary because I thought, oh, what does that mean? I'm gone next week or whatever. But, but I think, I don't know. It, you never know what's going to happen this week. Like, I don't know. I, <laughs> I, uh, I was joking to my mate going, oh man, I think I might have to, you know, I'm going to have to put a few extra votes in for myself this week. But um, 
man, it's such a weird thing because it's almost like he's getting out in the top four better than getting out in the top three because now I'm working a lot with the song. I've been working on the album cover, like doing a lot of photo shoots for that on the album cover if, if, if I win, you know, and, oh, man, it all looks really good. And um, Yeah, you just wouldn't want to be doing all this for nothing, you know, but um, to be completely blunt, you know, but... But otherwise, coming three is just like you, you look at it from, you know, the it's it's a it's um, half full, you know, the glass half full. Looking at it from that sort of perspective, um, it's uh, man, top three is just like that's the bee's knees, man. That's awesome. Like, can you imagine like top three? It's, it hasn't really sunk in yet, but um, man, it's so awesome, and it is so because of you guys, and um, you know, like. God, you guys, no, you guys don't never underestimate yourselves. You guys are awesome, okay? So that's that's you know that's so awesome. I mean, I wouldn't be here if I, if it wasn't for you guys. I mean, I always say that now, but I mean, I hope it doesn't. It's so true. So, um, yeah, yeah. Being in the bottom two, I don't know whether it means anything. So, what's the best thing about Idol, or what's the one best thing? I don't know. I can't. I just cannot pinpoint one thing I, it, the whole experience is really awesome and I and I and I just had a small sort of epiphany about it this morning I was just like man this is just so awesome like this is one of the best things I've ever done like I was a bit unsure coming in and auditioning for the first time but this is definitely one of the best things I've ever done like it's just it's just so cool it's just I don't know everything about it you know publicity and all the experience and um, the learning curve I've been on for the last two and a half three months has been intense and I've, I've learned so much but like I'm going to come out the other side just sailing baby like it's going to be great you know um, yeah I'm you know no other gig is, is going to seem as hard as this except for maybe singing the anthem in front of like no, 60,000 fans or something at a ball game that'd be pretty bad that'd be scary for me because I'm not like an anthem singer I don't have that sort of a voice so that'd be so scary uh, yeah I don't know about that one but uh, <laughs> I don't think that high me that with my husky jazz tones advance Australia no it wouldn't just wouldn't work I could sing waltzing that'd be cool but um yeah, I think the whole ride is just awesome. Like, I get, you know, there's massive ups and downs. Like, But it's all just, it's the, what it is, you know. It gets so tired, long days, whatever, blah, 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 blah. It's all, but I mean, it's all good. It's nothing really to complain about. So, it's awesome. I love it. Um, yeah, it, it's great too to, to it, it's, I find it really cool to, to be able to um, um, say hello to you guys and, 